Wow, come everyone. Today we'll have an amazing charge build for the end game barbarian for season 3. Now this is one of the most fun I had in Diablo 3 for a while and this is such an amazing charge build I'm really excited to share with you guys. Looking behind me, I think enough is said. You can basically watch the monsters melt in tier 100 and we go through everything super fast. We have tons of mobility, we have barriers, we have 4 to 5, we have movement speed, we have infinite fury gain, constant berserk, and everything melts. <laughs> the only time I stop is to loot items, and I don't really do that much anymore as well. And uh, yes, the build is incredibly fun, incredibly powerful, and have no cooldowns. You can see that my charge is on constantly low cooldown. I can go into berserk, I can go into movement speed, I, I'm just great with everything for this barbarian build. And yes guys, if you want to see the single target damage, I'll provide you guys with a Dorio fight as well. It is incredible. So everything is great about this charge build. And I'm quite excited to play the Garnet with my charge build very soon. Because I think this one is going to wipe the board. <laughs> it's going to like, it's going to be such a speedy build. It's going to be such a speedy build. And also it's incredibly fun to play this combination. Now fast forwarding to the traps room a little bit. You can see that we have no problem in tier 100. And the mobility, the speed, the endurance, and also the utility of the build is incredible. And this is actually the first version of the build I wanted to try. And as I was trying the single target build, I decided to try the charge build as well. It is very, very powerful. And I am planning to make this build even better for you guys very, very soon. So as you can see, guys, we have almost no cooldowns with our charge. And the only time that I get a cooldown is because I didn't charge properly. And with multiple shouts, this is almost never happening. And this allows me to charge through any of the content in the game, have such a great fun with it. It is really, really good. Now, as promised, here is a single target test with Dorio. Over here, I'm fighting Dorio solo. He have about 40 million HP. And let's have a look at Dorio. And Dorio's gone. <laughs> so yes, the build have incredible potential for single target, multiple target, and we can deal with anything in the game. I'm pretty proud to say this will be one of the top meta barbarian build for the charge for the end game. Because not only, not only do you deal tons of single target damage, you're constantly having berserk, you're getting fortified, and you deal tons of damage every time you strike. And this allows us to have a great time to go into the garnet and also to play any content in the game and dealing tons of damage. Now, similar to our guide, I'll provide you guys with two of the replays against the row and also for tier 100. Now, do keep in mind, guys, I will have a small adjustment for my pad as I go into Dorios with Flash of Adrenaline. But similarly, I will be going into Protect if I'm going for tier 100 dungeons just to become a little durable. I can still go in with the damage setup. And similarly, if I want to be a little more tanky, I can keep damage reduction, but I can also use Safety Guard to provide myself with even more durability on the Tempest. And here the adjustment for me if I'm going for tier 100 or against Dorio. Now coming over to my barbarians in the game. Currently, I have decided to use multiple uber uniques, so keep that in mind. I'll have a version of adjustment to show you guys, and I'll even talk about it now, if you don't have any of the uber uniques that I'm currently using. I'm using the Harlequin's Quest, the Melted Heart, and also the Grandfather. If you don't have the Harlequin's Quest, you can go into the Berserker Helmet of them, you know, the standard one, which is actually really, really good for damage. Or you can go in for a defensive one, which gives you tons of armor. And ideally, you want cooldown reduction, total armor, resistance, and also maximum life. Our damage while berserk will be great. As for the amulet, you can use the standard legendary amulet, but because our build is using frenzy, the frenzy amulet also gives us, us tons of great things, including maximum fury, which is great for damage, plus 9 rank to frenzy, and also even more attack speed and also cooldown reduction. And finally, as for the two-handed weapon, you can go into a two-handed weapon that provides you with additional damage with barriers, which deals a lot of damage. Or you can go into another set of legendaries that provide you with 60% increased physical damage every 7 seconds. And this is a rotation and also replacement for the two-handed weapon in case you don't have grandfather. Now briefly going through the highlight of this build. So as you guys can see, we'll be charging into enemies and with higher skill based of fury, with higher skill resource, you deal more. With higher resource, you deal more damage with the skills, up to 40%. 
One of the highlight of the build is that we're charging with a two hand, two of the one hand weapons, and we're using this unique item, which is Magnus Opus, which allows us to deal like over 200% more damage with charge if you select this item for your charge. Notice that my gems are socketed for basic skill damage because I was using a basic frenzy build. And later I realized I don't even need that. But this particular weapon is incredibly good if you combine this one into the charge. So what you guys can do is you can start with skill selection. You can press the middle of your mouse or changes to the weapons you want to use. Once you select this unique item for charge, you will deal even more damage with charge. And this will based on the maximum fury you have. Currently, I'm sitting on about 272 maximum fury, and this is because the melted heart provides us with 60 more maximum fury, and also the skill trees, paragons, and also the rings gives me more maximum fury. Now, the build follows a very simple combination. Because we'll be charging into enemies with you know, four engines that deals additional damage, we'll also be exploding enemies as we hit them. Those two combined give us the highest potential for AoE damage. And together with killing enemies while berserking, we have up to 32% chance to reduce boiling skills cooldown. Now you may be wondering, what are the boiling skills? The boiling skills are all over here, and I'm using three boiling skills. So my shout cooldowns, my kick cooldown, and also my charge cooldown will be reduced by 2 seconds, with a 40% chance while berserk of reducing cooldowns. And this gives us so much cooldown. So this is a very underrated legendary effect that is very, very powerful for our charge build. And because those skills have two, two charges, this is even better. Now, finally, one of the bigger highlights is we'll be using two shouts for this build currently. I'm planning to look into even three shouts for the build. Every time you cast a shot, your other non shot skills even reduce cooldown by another four seconds. So the cooldown reduction is incredible. I can be casting my war cry to reduce the cooldowns of charge with kick, and as I kill monsters, my brawling skills, including war cry, will have a lower cooldown. And this rotates into almost you know, massive reduction to cooldowns. And similarly, as I cast my rally cry, I gain unstoppable fury gain and also even more cooldown reduction to the other skills that are available making us super speedy, super tanky, and also super strong with Berserk and also with you know, Maximum Fury and all the good buffs for the Barbarians. Now I'll be providing you guys with a Builder's Guide over here, and I'm still you know, taking my time to finish off the Builder's Guide, and you can see the title is not correct yet because I'm still testing the build. And I have the Builder's Guide available, and you can see in the links below. Now briefly going through the skill rotations of this wonderful charge build, and it's very simple guys. You see more than two monsters or one monsters, you charge into them and you drop stun. Majority of the time, you have tons of fortify, you have tons of barriers, and you don't really have to worry about HP or anything. And should you ever feel the need to lower your cooldowns, killing one or two monsters while berserk will do the job. And if you want, you can be casting your rally cry to gain movement speed, fury, and also lower cooldowns to everything else. You can see my skills is constantly dropping down with cooldowns, and it is wonderful. So the cooldown reduction for this build is very, very high. I could make the cooldown reduction even higher with another glyph, but I decided to not even go further. So here, whenever you need, just, just charge into things, guys. The more you charge into things, you gain Berserk, you gain you know, Unstoppable, you also gain Maximum Fury, you gain increased damage, and also you gain Explosion damage against everything else. If you can, try to charge into multiple enemies and push them together. And while doing so, you'll be doing explosion damage. Now, <laughs> it is such a fun build. I don't think I need to explain much. And I think, yes, you guys got the hang of it. You'll be like, wow, what have I doing with Barbarian before? <laughs> you know, play everything else. I should just play this build and have such a fun in the season, right? So this is a really interesting build. And I think I'll just cover up for the boss fights for this build as well. So usually you want to top yourself up with maximum fury if you can against a single target. Starting with a kick is a really good way to also gain additional berserk and also you know spending your fury. By spending your fury while casting Wrath of Berserker, you'll deal tons of damage afterwards as well. And usually here you can notice that I didn't quit. I just happened to have done overpower and that did 40 million damage. If I overpower and quit it, that will be over hundreds millions of damage. And that is enough for most things. 
And if that's not enough, you can start casting charge and also frenzy to gain tons of fury back and kick again because you have such a low cooldown. And that is the location for most of the single target you want to fight in the game. Now hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. I'll be looking towards the updating and also making this build stronger. And I'm having so much fun with this build, so definitely expect an updated version. The paragons won't be changed too much, maybe just a few changes with the skill trees and maybe some of the item selections. But majority of the time, this build is wonderful. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about the Charge Barbarian, now that we have an endgame build that is super speedy and that is super good for all the content.
Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, it is a really good time to do so because I'll be covering tons of Diablo 4 related topics and also videos and also guides. We'll be looking to the top meta builds, non meta builds, leveling up, and also Paragon tricks. We'll also look into the latest events and also official updates and also changes to different characters and also different builds in the game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn the notification on because a lot of you who are watching the videos have not subscribed. You can see 80% of the viewers who are watching our videos have not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the latest update for Diablo 4.